Namaste friends. Today's class is going to be a little bit of an advanced vinyasa. It is a standing flow primarily because I'm having some trouble in my hand. It's not wrist this time actually, but my thumb is sore and I'm not quite sure why, so I'm trying to stay off of my hands for a little bit. Which actually, uh, I was planning on filming something completely different, but because I want to acknowledge that my body is in pain. Uh, we're changing it up and we're gonna use mostly our legs today. So it is a pretty standard vinyasa, a little bit advanced based on some of the poses. So just do your best and um, keep practicing, work on your balance. It'll be a good class. I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. So let's begin standing at the front of the mat, feet hip distance apart or in the middle of the mat if your cat is taking over the front. <laughs> Feet hip distance apart, toes facing directly forward, roll the shoulders back and down, lift through the heart space, lift through the crown of the head, press equally into all four corners of the feet, and take a deep breath, allowing yourself to drop into the moment to let go of anything else that might have occurred so far today or any worries that you might have for later on today and the following days. Another deep, full, long breath in and out through the nose. A few more moments here in silence to just be present. And on your next inhale, inhale, take up space, reach for the sky, and exhale, engage the core, sink the hips back, chair. Look down, make sure you can see your toes. Lengthen the tailbone towards the heels, towards the mat. Palms facing each other. And inhale, come up to Dasana. Exhale, press the air away. Inhale, reach. Exhale, chair. Inhale, swoop the arms up. And exhale, press the air away slowly like the air is thick, like honey or molasses. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, chair. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, press the air away. This time, inhale, reach. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Tuck the chin, bend the knees, and inhale, roll all the way back up to standing. Swoop the arms towards the sky. And exhale, press the airway. Inhale, reach. And exhale, step back, high lunge. Set the left leg back, sorry, to high lunge. And then drop the left knee to the mat. Take your hands to a steeple above your head, so palms together, index fingers pointing. Come onto the top of the left foot. Squeeze the right leg in energetically towards the midline. And then if it doesn't hurt your neck, gently bring your gaze to the steepled fingers. And now, Arch the back as much as you're able to and come into crescent lunge. Now your core is still engaged, you're not flopping backwards. You might notice I'm not actually very deep into this, my back bends are not stellar. <laughs> Some people can go all the way back and nearly touch their foot. Those people are not me. So just go to the extent that you are able and you feel comfortable. Excellent. Come back up, release the steeple, come onto the back toes. Lift into high lunge, step forward, 
into chair. Sink a little bit deeper in your chair, lift the heart, shoulders relaxing away from the ears, and release. Reach towards the sky, exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, core engaged. Exhale, fold, dip the chin, bend the knees, and roll slowly all the way back up to standing. Reach for the sky, open up the shoulders, and exhale, press the air away. Inhale, reach, and exhale, step the right foot back this time, high lunge. Take a deep breath here, and then bring the right knee to the mat, come on to the tops, top of the right foot, energetically squeeze the left foot in towards the midline. Bring your hands to that steeple. If it's comfortable on your neck, you can look up towards your fingers and then come a little bit more into a back bend. As much as you're able, engage the core, lengthen the tailbone. Crescent lunge. Release the steeple, come on to the back toes, lift into high lunge, step forward, chair. Sink into the chair, sink deep, lift the heart and release. Exhale, press the air away. Now you can clasp your hands behind your back or take a towel or a shirt if you're unable to bring your hands together. Inhale, lift the heart to the sky. Exhale, chair with a clasp. Press the hands away from you, open across the shoulders. Look up to the right, open the shoulder, sink the hips, core tight. Inhale back to center and exhale to the left. Look up over your left shoulder. Try to keep your hips square. And back to center, forward fold, keep the clasp. Take a second to Open through the front of the shoulders. Allow gravity to take over the fists. Excellent, now release the clasp. Inhale, half lift, and exhale. Step the foot back, left foot back, about maybe two or three feet, depending on your body. Square the hips, left heel to the mat. Inhale, half lift with a flat back, engage the core, keep the hips square and exhale, fold, extended side stretch. So press the right hip back, left hip comes forward. And you can grab blocks here, as always, to make sure that you can bring the ground to you, should you need. And this should feel really nice in the hamstrings. Make sure you keep your back flat. We don't want you rounding along the spine. And excellent. Now take that left foot back a little bit more, drop the knee, and come into low lunge. Mm. Lengthen the tailbone towards the heels. The heels. I don't think you can do that in this position. Lengthen the tailbone towards the mat, engage the core, squeeze the right knee in, and again, if you'd like, bring your hands to the steeple. The steeple, gently look towards your fingertips, and arch into back bend as deep as you are able that feels comfortable to you. Crescent lunge. Now come back up. Lift back up into high lunge. Hands to prayer. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Prayer twist. Press the left heel away from you. Engage the left leg. Look over your right shoulder. And inhale back to center. Step forward, chair. And inhale, reach for the sky. Joyous, buoyant, light, and exhale, press the air away. I'm having fun, can you tell? You should be having fun too. This is a fun opening class. So inhale, reach for the sky. 
Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, plant the palms. Step the right foot back about halfway. Make sure that your right heel can come to the mat. Square the hips. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Extended side stretch. Press the left hip back, right hip forward. And inhale, half lift. Bend through the left knee, step the right leg back all the way, drop the right knee to the mat, and come up low lunge. Press through the top of the right foot, steeple the hands, back bend, crescent lunge. And inhale, come back up, turn the right foot under, high lunge hands to prayer and bring the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Inhale back up, reach for the sky, step forward, chair. Inhale, swoop the arms towards the sky, and exhale, press the air away. Inhale, reach. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, step it back, halfway, left foot back. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, take the left hand to the mat, right arm to the sky. Revolve triangle pose. You can always come up onto a block to make this more accessible. Block at any level, it's great. Right hip back, left hip forward. Twist through the spine, through the abdomen. Reach the right hand to the sky. Fingers energetic. And now bend a little bit in the back knee to launch yourself forward. Bring your left hand to the mat a few, maybe a foot or so in front of and to the left of the right foot. Flex the left foot, bring it into the sky, and then open up the right arm again, revolved half moon pose this time. Right hip back. Bring the left hip down, flex the feet, pinky toe towards the mat, left pinky toe towards the mat, and look up towards the right. Excellent, now step it back, high lunge. Exhale, hands to prayer, left elbow to the outside of the right knee, prayer twist. And inhale back up, chair at the front of the mat. And this time we'll step straight back with the left foot, straighten the left leg, bring the right arm forward, right hand to the mat, left arm to the sky, revolve triangle pose. Press down through the right heel, left hip goes back. And then bend a little bit through the right leg in order to launch yourself forward. Bring your right hand a few feet in front. Flex the right foot. Revolved half moon. And bend the left knee. Step it back. 
high lunge to prayer twist. Inhale back up, chair at the front of the mat. Clasp behind, open through the heart space. Set the left leg back, high lunge with a clasp. And now take your torso over your right leg, open through the right shoulder, look to the right. High lunge with a twist, with a clasp. Press the left heel away from you. Left leg should be energetic. Look over your right shoulder. Oh. <laughs> Come back to center. If you lose your balance, it's all right. Bend the left knee, launch forward, warrior three, Vira Bhadrasana three with the clasp. You can gently bend the right knee if you need to. Flex the left foot or point call it Barbie toes, pointy flex. Engage the core, release the clasp, take the hands to a steeple in front of your head if you're able to. If not, you can stay with airplane arms. Steeple above the head, and if you'd like, you can slowly lift your gaze to the steeple. And step back, high lunge. Ooh. Step to the front of the mat, chair. Clasp, reverse the clasp this time. Funny thumb on top. And step the right leg back, high lunge with a clasp. Open through the heart, walk your right hand down your right thigh. And then take your torso over your left leg and look up over the left shoulder. Back to center. Bend through the right knee to launch forward into warrior three with the clasp. And then if you'd like, you can take your hands above you in steeple. And you can also choose to look at the steeple at your fingertips. This really messes <laughs> with the balance, so if you fall out of it, just come back, laugh at yourself, do your best, step back, high lunge, and step to the front, chair. Release, sweep the arms towards the sky, exhale, flat back, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, half lift, exhale, plant the palms, Step the left foot all the way back, bend the right knee, and come up, warrior two. Bend as deeply into the right knee as you're able. Shoulders relax down the spine. Core engaged, fingers energetic. Smile. Hold, breathe. Press through the outer edge of the left foot. Press through all four corners of the right. Now bend the left knee and bring your hand a few feet in front of your right foot. In, half moon. Flex the left foot, reach the left hand to the sky. You can keep your hands, I'm sorry, you can keep your eyes on a drishti point on the mat to help with balance. Or if you're feeling very balanced <laughs> today, you can slowly bring your gaze up towards your left hand. Now bring, bend the left knee, bring your ankle into your hand. And open into a little bit of a back bend quad stretch. Good. 
and release. Step it back, warrior two. Straighten through the right knee. Bring your feet to parallel towards the sides of the room. Inhale, lift the heart and exhale, forward fold. Wide-legged forward fold. Bring your hands over to the right ankle, heart space towards the right ankle, right leg. Twist. And over to the left. Twist. And back to center. Inhale, half lift. Exhale here. Take your hands to your hips and use the core. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Turn the left toes out and sink into warrior two, other side. Don't forget to breathe, don't forget to smile. Yoga is one of the best things that you can do for your body, for your mind, for the energy in your body. Like I said, I my hand is hurting, so I had to completely change what I wanted to do. But actually, this po this class that I wrote felt really good writing it, you know, and it's feeling really good doing it, so I hope it feels as good to you. It's strong, but it's not not really like a, an interval type yoga class like I sometimes do. It's, it's more calm, even though it's still strong. So bend through the right knee now and launch yourself forward. Whoop. Left hand to the mat, open the right hip, flex the right foot, and half moon on the other side. Again, you can focus on your drishti point, your gazing point on the mat, on the ground or do your best and try to look up towards your right hand. Okay, to be honest, this is the first time I've ever tried to look up towards my top hand and uh, doing all right, this is pretty all right. <laughs> Bend the right knee, bring the ankle into the hand and open for a little bit of a back bend, shoulder opener, quad stretch, beautiful, lovely, enjoyable pose. And then bend the left knee, step it back, warrior two. Straighten through the left knee, bring those toes back to face the side of the room. Bend through the right knee into a side lunge, press the hips back, and then come out and bend the left knee. Press that hip back, you should be able to see your toes. Your knees should track over your ankles, not over your toes. Over to the right, over to the left, keep the core tight. Right, go as deep as you can, left, right, left. Right, few more. Left. Sink the hips deep, right. And left. And come back to center. Turn the toes out and sink into plie. Reach the hands right and left. Palms towards the mat. Mat. And now keep your legs completely still, using only your core to move. Move a little bit, like reach to the right, reach to the left. 10 times, right, one, two, three, core tight. Use the core to move, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now bend at the elbows, bring the palms to face each other, cactus arms, and we'll twist 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plie pulses ten times, up and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10. Bring your hands to the insides of your thighs, straighten through the right hand, look up over the left shoulder, twist, and look up over the right shoulder, back to center, hop the feet in, closer, toes still facing out, uh, heels maybe about hip distance apart, and sink the hips back into yogic squat. Bring your elbows into the inside to your knees, palms together, prayer, Anjali Mudra. Close the eyes and come back to the breath. Notice how perhaps your body feels different now than it did at the beginning of the practice. Notice what those differences may be. Perhaps your legs are tired. Perhaps your body feels more energized. Perhaps it feels more relaxed. There's no right or wrong answer. Just observe how your breath and body feel now in this moment. Now take your right hand to the outside of your right foot, reach the left hand towards the sky. And back to center, left hand to the outside of the left foot, right hand towards the sky. And back to center, come to a seat, bring the soles of your feet together knees apart inhale roll the shoulders back lift the heart and exhale forward fold cobbler's pose Come back up, take the left leg long, right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Inhale, reach for the sky, long flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk your hands back up, switch sides. Right leg long, left leg in, left foot in. Inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Inhale, walk your hands back in. Take the left leg in front of you now chin parallel to the front of the mat, swoop the right leg back and come into pigeon pose. Inhale, lift the heart, press through the top of the right foot. You can look back and make sure that your foot is emanating in one straight line from your leg. Press the right hip forward, left hip back. And then you can stay up like this or walk your hands forward. Come onto your forearms or perhaps a block. Breathe into the spaces where you feel sensation. Slowly send the energy, send your attention to these places. And let them know that they can release that way your body knows that it doesn't need to hold on to stuck energy, to stuckness, stuck places.
inhale, walk back in, walk your hands back in. Open through the heart space, and then twist to the right. Look over your left, sh or sorry, left. Look over your left shoulder. And then swoop that right foot around to the front. Left leg back. Pigeon on the other side, which you might notice is different than the first. Press the left hip forward, right hip back. Open through the heart space, and with that length along the spine, walk your hands forward. Gently walk your hands back in. Lift to the heart space, open. And then gently turn to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Back to center. Come to sit on your bum. Bend the knees, soles of the feet into the mat. Use the core, lean back just a little, and then lift the feet off of the mat. If you're able, you can keep the knees bent. And you'll straighten one leg, left leg here, and bring the right knee in. You can clap behind if you'd like. Straighten, left knee in. Straighten, right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, high boat, and then lower down, low boat, move down a little bit, <laughs> low boat, and same thing, right leg in, long, left, right, one, two, core tight, three, press your lower back into the mat, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, release, and let me move my little mic pack, <laughs> straighten the legs, flex the feet towards the sky, you can take your hands underneath your bum, and take your legs as long, as low as you can, and lift back up, one, flat, straight, long line, two, press the lower back into the mat, three, as low as you can. That might be right here, that's perfectly fine. Or if you're all the way to the floor, you have some strong abs, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now, one at a time. Just keep the right leg up, left leg long, one. Back to center, right leg down, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bend the knees, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. Excellent, excellent job. Take the left leg long, right knee into the chest, a couple ankle rolls in one way, 
and then the other. And then bring the right knee over to the left. Supine twist. And back to center. Switch sides, left leg into the chest, right leg long. A couple ankle rolls. And bring it over to the right. Look over your left shoulder. And come back to center. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. Shimmy the shoulders up underneath the heart space, palms to the sky. If they're not already closed, you can close your eyes. Notice all the sensations that may arise in the body or may have arisen in the body during this practice. Now take the left leg long, followed by the right. Feet fall left and right. And allow the body to just be, to just relax, to be heavy, to sink into the earth, to just be present in this moment. You can release any conscious breathing. Allow the breath to go back to normal. And stay here in Shavasana for as long as you're able. I'll see you all next time. From my heart to yours, namaste.